hello everyone. This is Jenny Lyles, and I'm out of my mind. Welcome to Skyrim SE. I am going to talk a little bit about apologies today and how to do a really sincere good one when you're trying to retain the relationship or job or whatever that is affected by the thing you did. Whether or not it was an accident, whether or not you fully understand what it is you did that harmed the relationship or the job prospect or whatever. Now, I chose to play Skyrim today instead of being crafty because I'm in the middle of a quest where my character went on a drunken night of debauchery uh, because of an agent of the god of madness in disguise and has apparently harmed a lot of people all over Skyrim and does not remember any of this. So this plays in pretty well to the theme of owning, apologizing, and repairing when we make a mistake. Now right ahead, and that's why I stopped, is one of the people I did something to. And like I said, my character in the game, whose name is Jane Elizabeth, has no memory of this. So we're going to approach this character now. So, oh, you're finally back. back. Look, Look, I'm impatient, but, but you still, still owe me. How much do it's I owe you? Money, really? Oh, she went straight I mean, to repair. Really Good job. Do you know what I did with it? I just need to get to the wedding, please, because I don't know what I did. You notice the gender of the uh, uh, spouse changed there. I found that interesting. What was that story about my fiancé? Trying to get enough information here to be able to own what I did. Apparently, I took a, an expensive wedding ring and uh, lost it. And these are other questions. So hopefully this will give me enough to move on to the next piece of the quest, where I am hopefully, I'm going to turn off some things here, uh, going to be able to figure out what I did. So, a night to remember is the quest, and apologize to the priestess of Debella. Uh, the next thing I need to do, hopefully, will now be up on my thing. Oh, I have to go to Rorikstead. Okay, we're going to start walking to Rorikstead. I'm walking rather than riding my horse because I think that'll be a more interesting experience for us. If you did something that harmed... Oh, you see that red dot on my screen? That means there's an enemy in front of me. Oh, kind of in front of me. Is there a dragon in the sky? Can you hear that? That sounds pretty horrible. probably want to look over this wall to see what's over there. I don't see anything. Hmm. Whatever that thing is, I'm just going to pretend I didn't see it. If you did something that harmed someone, someone else, even if it was an accident, admit it. I'm sorry I dinged your car. I'm sorry I ripped your favorite shirt. I'm sorry I missed our appointment. Uh, any of those things. Just admit it. Don't give a lot of detail. Detail doesn't really matter. Don't ever give excuses. So you apologize by saying, you know what, I'm going to adopt him later because that's a bug that I've run into before. Um, if you don't understand what you did wrong, first make an educated guess as to what you did wrong. Apparently I got drunk somewhere in White Run in Skyrim, and I did all kinds of things to lots of people, and I have a lot of apologies to make. And because of that, I am going to try to use educated guests to figure out what I did, and ask outright where that doesn't work. Now the apologies is going to go something like this. I'm sorry 
that I did the thing. I'm sorry that the thing happened if it wasn't entirely my fault. For instance, let's say my best friend and I both applied for the same job and I got it and she didn't. I am sorry that my getting that job that we both wanted hurt her opportunity. And that is a sincere apology, even though I'm not sorry I got the job, right? Uh, don't ever use I'm sorry, but. What happens when you put the word but in the middle of a sentence is it works like the center of a teeter-totter. One side becomes true and the other side becomes false. I'm sorry, but you deserved it either means I'm sorry or you deserved it and I'm not sorry at all. It doesn't mean both. I'm sorry, but I don't believe in calling people by their true names means you don't believe in calling people by their true names. You're not actually apologizing. You're making excuses. It's entirely possible we'll run into battle around here, so if that's so, you may get to watch me battle these guys, and I'll stop trying to talk about apologies while I battle. Um, I'm sorry that I did the thing. I'm sorry that I caused the consequence. I'm sorry that... What I did caused you to have feelings that were hard for you. And here, you don't want to just say, I'm sorry you feel that way. Because that's kind of, again, I'm not sorry for what I did. I am sorry that you feel that way. Except that often that's an insincere form of an apology. What do we have here? I have free meat. Yay. I'll take it. So... Let's say I did something that was absolutely necessary. I'm not going to talk to him right now because he wants me to fight him to the death and I don't really want to fight him right now because he's old and wants to die. And I know this because I've played this game for years. Um, so I might say, I'm sorry that when we discussed the very important thing we discussed in therapy, that it made you very sad and brought up feelings that are hard for you to manage. That's a sincere apology because it was necessary in the context of therapy. I think I want some deer meat. And I missed my second shot, so I may not get deer meat. Now, unlike in the real world, these deer will be just fine if I don't complete my shots. I think that's the same one. Nope. That is rare. Beauty. Anyway. So now I have some deer meat. So the last part of an apology is to repair the damage you did. To repair, here's an important part about repairing you're not always going to be able to repair. If I accidentally were to say, shoot that storm cloak soldier that's been walking around here, this dude over here, if I were accidentally to be to shoot him, I couldn't then go and apologize to him. Because sometimes you're not going to be able to repair. If the person is dead, there's no repair to be made. Some people are going to say, there's no way I'm going to let you apologize to me. You've done this too many times. We've been down this road before. I am done with you. That's a legitimate thing. I offer a concrete action if you can do the repair. If the other person is done with you, they have the right to be done with you. But if they're willing to allow you to fix what you did wrong, then your next step is to offer to do something concrete, then follow through on it. How can I fix this? That's going to be your first question. Let's say that I took the wedding ring in a night of drunken debauchery, like we've talked about in here, and uh, I have no idea where I put it which is what my character is in, right? And she's going around looking for clues to be able to find that wedding ring. By the way, Ygret is one of my favorite characters to marry in this, so I am going to try to get on her good side, so I have to complete this quest. Uh, so, 
first, try to find the ring. You notice I could have ended that part of the quest simply by paying for the ring, but I'm going to look for the ring because that's a more interesting quest, not because that's what I would do in real life. In real life, if I had the money, I might just pay. Ooh, I just had a woolly rhinoceros decide to attack my party. So we're going to kill him, and I'm not going to talk about apologies until I'm done killing him, because he's kind of vicious. And he came with some goblins. Hi, goblins. Goblins are another addition to the world that come from... And I... Did you see that? I just managed to uh, hit my companion there by accident. Trained goblin. And search a woolly mammoth. And... Go back to apologizing. So offer a repair that's meaningful, offer a repair that will make the situation that caused you to have to apologize in the first place be less frequent. For instance, let's say I did get really deep into somebody's stuff in their therapy session and it was too much for them. I might say, how about we work together so that the next time we have to work on your stuff, oops, I'm head, still headed to Rorkstead. You see the sign that says I'm headed in the right way. I'm going to say, you know, how about the next time we delve into this topic, I make sure I ask you frequently if it's too much for you. Rorkstead is this way. So I'm going to say, I'm going to try to check in with you as we talk about this subject to make sure I'm not pushing too hard on a subject that is uncomfortable in a way that you won't be able to handle between therapy sessions, right? Now, if you know that conflict between you is going to happen again because it's a fundamental conflict, you're going to have to, um, I hesitate to say agree to disagree, more kind of come to terms with the fact that you're not going to agree on this and maybe agree to not talk about that subject, or if you know that conflict is inevitable and it's a long-term relationship, you're going to have to work on coming to a place, or you're going to have to look at exiting the relationship. That's all there is to it. If you two are too fundamentally different, if, uh, for instance, if one of my friends, and this is not true, if one of my, my friends believed that it is acceptable to put children in cages at the border of the United States, because that is a natural consequence of attempting to flee from a war-torn region, I would tell that person that I can't be friends with people who hold those beliefs. Own, you admit what you did wrong, apologize, you sincerely say, I'm sorry I did that, I'm sorry it hurt you, I'm sorry it caused a problem for you, and then you attempt to repair it as best you can, if you can. That is how you make a good, solid apology. Well, I am going to go back to playing my game without you at this point. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned a lot from this. I will be expanding this in a article in a couple of days that will be on the OOMM.live website. Always feel free to donate at patreon.com backslash J-L-I-L-E-S. I have new content up almost every day, either a video, an audio tape, or an article, two per week on the topic at hand, and I go back and forth between mental health, I talk about parenting, I talk about various ways to improve your life day to day. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you do something that you find as relaxing as I find uh, killing things and wandering around Skyrim looking at the gorgeous scenery. And I will see you in a few days with my next video. Thank you. Here are my notes for Own Apologize Repair. I promise those. Hi guys, this is Jenny Lyles. Thank you for watching my video. I'd like to talk to you for a moment about my best friend, Kathy Malone. 
Kathy has a heart condition that she contracted from a virus when she was in her 20s. She's 17 years past her expiration date. And Kathy will die if she doesn't get a heart transplant, and it needs to happen within the next year or two. Unfortunately, she has been told by the hospital where she will be getting the transplant that she needs to come up with a minimum of $20,000 in order to prove that she can pay for her anti-rejection meds over the first 18 months after her transplant or they won't put her on the list. I'm trying to save my best friend's life. If you would like to help me with that, please go to forkathysheart.responsive llc.com and click on the links on the right hand side if you're on a desktop or towards the bottom if you are on a mobile phone and please donate to her GoFundMe or to her PayPal so that my best friend's life can be saved. Thank you.